Hello people, this is my first video on this channel, my name is Jake, and I am going to be showing you a Windows uh, 90X virus, which means it works on um, Windows 98 and Windows 95. Uh, it is called the Pikachu virus, its full name is emailworm.win32.pikachu, and um, when you run it, um, first of all let me show you some things actually. If I go into my computer, and I go into the C drive, there's this file called autoexec.bat. If I press edit, it just says at echo off. Um, and I'll explain what that file is for afterwards. If I run this now, between millions of people around the world, I found you. Don't forget to remember this day every time, my friend. Visit us at http colon slash slash www.pikachu.com If you were to go to that website, it I believe it is just a Pokemon website. Allow me to test that right now, in fact. Um, I shall... Okay, Internet Explorer. Address http colon slash slash... Oh, that didn't work at all. Pikachu.com Oh, my hip has spelled that right. Uh, oh, and my phone went off. That was uh, perfect timing. Uh, yes, it is just a Pokemon website. Um, so that is a fairly useless link. Uh, so um, let's restart the computer. Restart. And you can now see when this um, boots up, boot from hard disk. It says, um, sorry, a bit of this cut off. It says, all files in the directory will be deleted, are you sure? Most people in this scenario would say no. It asks you again. Most people again would say no. Then as you can see, Windows boots up nice and dandy. Um, and, um, however, I am going to show you first why that is happening. As you can probably tell, it is due to the virus. Um, so if we go back to where we were before in my computer, uh, see, we now go to autoexec.bat and press edit, and it's added two new lines. Now allow me to explain this all to you. When the computer boots up, it automatically runs autoexec.bat, which is short for auto automatic execution, which means it like it executes every time the computer runs. So um, before we just add echo off and um, now it has two extra commands. It tries to delete all files in this directory, uh, show files, and not not the folders, just the files. So just this stuff, not um, not this stuff. Then it also will go into system, and just because this, just because of, oops, because of this warning, you can tell that it's not a good idea to delete it. Um, but. Oh, my mouse is on funny. There. Um, and, um, so yeah, show files. It's, yeah, just that warning shows that it's not a good idea to delete this stuff, because that was a warning that, um, it's not a good idea to delete it. So, all we really have to do to remove this virus and stop uh, it trying to delete every time is delete these two lines of code. Uh, try to, oh, my mouse has gone weird again. Try to exit, press yes, and now the virus is gone. If we were to restart the computer, you would no get that you no longer get those messages trying to um, delete the files. Now, a problem with this virus is that um, it of course asks you to delete the files rather than deleting them silently, which is what it should have done. Um, but as you can probably imagine, if you were to write a virus, you wouldn't really want to test it on your own system. So, um, bit of laziness from the um, virus author right there. So um, let me show you what would happen if you would say yes. Yeah, close, close. Um, start, shut down, restart. Boot from hard disk. Now let's say we were to say yes. Again, yes. Now it crashes for a while. It then says cannot find win.com, unable to continue con uh, unable to continue loading Windows. Then it opens the DOS prompt, as you can see. And if we were to go into um, Windows directory and put 
left in deer, I believe. It just has folders now, it no longer has any of the files. And again, if we were to go into system and deer, again, it just has those no more files anymore. So, um, once this has happened, you pretty much the best way to do this is to reinstall Windows. And uh, that is, I believe, it for um, this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye. Don't forget to comment uh, with any viruses you would like me to review in the future. Goodbye.